few months ago, someone asked you to name a brand of performance hot hatch, Hyundai wouldn't have even begun to cross your mind. Now, well, it might be slightly different. To create the i30N, Hyundai poached the chief engineer of BMW's M division, handed him the existing i30 and a bucket of money with the instructions to go do his stuff. The results are the i30N and the i30N performance pack. Both models share a relocated steering rack, electronically controlled suspension, a multiplicity of drive modes, rev matching and the N-specific body kit, as well as the 2.0-litre turbocharged engine. The performance pack adds a further 25 metric horses to the 250 of the standard motor. Bigger 8 by 19 inch wheels instead of 7.5 by 18 inch, bigger front brakes, a slightly different exhaust system, the EDIF electronic differential and a heated leather interior. Both versions delivered 353 newton meters of torque and are limited to about 150 miles an hour. The performance pack will shave 0.3 seconds off the end's 6.4 second 0 to 62 miles an hour though, if that matters to you. Power delivery isn't quite what you'd expect, being almost linear and more akin to a straight six than a turboed four cylinder. If you're looking for hooliganism, it can be found via the drive modes. There are many, but you soon realize that few will see any regular use. We found the best for daily use was comfort with red matching turned on, that configuring everything to sport apart from comfort suspension was the best for driving with intent, and that end performance is only suited for use on the track. Oh, and you can make the exhaust pop on command. Ride comfort varies between the two models. The 18-inch wheels and Michelin Pilot Sports of the N give a more compliant ride than the 19-inch Pirelli P-Zeros of the performance pack. CarPlay and Android Auto are standard, and the cabin has all the same virtues as the standard i30 which we've discussed before. The exterior has an N-specific body kit that's remarkably honest. Where something looks like a scoop or a vent, it is. Unless you specify Performance Blue, which is for performance pack cars only, then the overall look is somewhat subtle. Both versions have their merits, but we feel that Hyundai's 1000 i30 n per year target is conservative. Please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave your feedback below. All of our work, including our weekly podcasts, can be found at motoringpodcast.com.